Hello and welcome to Trains and Fiatic and today I'm at Getz of the Great Electric Train Show. Uh, I'm standing up here on the second floor balcony giving you a view of the show. So let's start the titles then I'll go and uh, show you a few of my highlights and we'll also have a chat to DCC Concept as we've got a new product to la launch and we might even have a look at a bit of uh, make traps. So let's start the title. Um, for your dapple or easy shunt, you have to have special couplings. Yes, only on the bits so that need to uncouple, couple. so you don't need them in between the carriages. Right. Uh, but yes, and I assume you're familiar with how they work. Not really, I mean, I am. Um, well, you see, you can see the magnet in the track now, just yeah. behind that break of carriages. Yeah. Um, as long as you're under traction, they yeah. hold together. Uh, if you stop on the magnet and reverse a little bit, they, they come loose. The magnet pulls them, pulls yeah. them apart. And then for recoupling, you just very, very gently nudge them up. And they, they just, that, that one almost certainly will have popped on. Beautifully at that point, I'll just drive it away. Yeah. Were you at the Manchester show? We were with the coffee table last year. No, with this last year. The, the coffee table yeah. last year. Yeah. I thought I recognised it. Yeah? yeah. Now that was the first Stand time it had been out bar. of its box for a year and a half since we built it. Yeah, that's it. And then that's it. I'll hold. Oh, there's no horn. 
Okay, yep, got that, so I'll now go across to there. Thank you. 
So, if you watch my video on DCC concert, I was told I have to put to this stall during I get so. Here I am at the DCC concert stall with one of the lovely people who's going to explain what the Top Secret project was. Okay, well, thank you for coming to visit us. Hope you're enjoying Gets and anybody who's been is also enjoying. So, this is an NCE power cab that a lot of you are probably familiar with. It's an excellent starter level DCC system. We like it, so do many of our customers, but it is just that. It's a starter system. It could do with a few extra features, not least additional power, to become a fully fledged system that most modelers in most scales can enjoy and use. NCE do make alternative versions of their system which have extra features, more power, wireless ability, programming track simplicity. But buying all those items, if you are a power cab user, involves mainly throwing this away and replacing it with a rather expensive system that can top a thousand pounds. So we say, don't bother with that, buy DCC Concepts ESP Aegis, which is rather than a replacement for power cab, is an upgrade for power cab. We have an older prototype being used on the layout today, but this is uh, what the final unit will look like. This offers you a few significant benefits over the power cab on its own. The first and most obvious, as you will see, is that my power cab is not plugged into the layout, it's plugged into a battery transmitter, which is on my hip here. You can easily put it in a pocket, keep it on your person. I have a boot for the power cab and a lanyard around my neck because we know we drop them if we try and take them wireless, so we make sure nobody drops their nice power cab. We get five amps of power, selectable from 14 to 18 volts, so this layout is running at 18 volts with five amps of power, rather than the standard 15 volts or 1.8 amps that power cab gives you out of the box. But I maintain full control over my locomotives, my accessories on the layout with complete walkabout capability. So I can control my trains, the direction, the functions, all my accessories, just as if my power cab was plugged in. I may have caused a short, because of course, that's always what happens when you're on camera. You change a point demonstrating and then knacker it. Let's try that one again. So, it's just as if it was plugged in. A couple of other useful features, we've got better short protection than power cab out of the box and we've got much better overload protection because power cab doesn't have overload protection. You can put 5 amps through an NCE power cab but the moment you get a short it will melt, ask us how we know. So instead we've got safe 5 amps of power that never sees the power cab. The power cab will last for years because all it ever sees is the transmitter, very little power moving through it at any one time. My personal favourite quality of life feature, programming track. Never have to pick up one of your expensive locos again. Take a piece of track on your layout, make it the programming track. Wire it separately from the main into the programming output on Aegis. 
during normal operation, it's part of the main. You can drive locos over it, through it, in and out, no problem. As soon as you plug your power cab into the programming socket on the front of the Aegis face here, only that <coughs> section of the layout is live. Oh, and good. now you can program the loco just as you would with a power cab normally, go through the menu, use programming track, read CVs, write CVs, and when you're done, plug the power cab back into the transmitter or the main socket, the whole layout goes live again, and you can drive your pro programmed loco straight out onto the rest of the layout. No more taking it to the bench and plugging it into a new socket. Don't fiddle around, don't break your expensive loco. Leave it on the layout, program it in situ. If you just bought a new sound loco and you need to change the chuff rate, the volume, now your power cab is wireless and you can still program on the main. Walk with it, listen to it live, see what changes you're making in real time. And don't drag a wire across the layout knocking everything off. Again, ask me how I know. So you've got your power cab, everything it could do before, and lots more, and you don't have to throw anything away. Put this in your layout face here, put the transmitter on your belt, plug the power cab into it, and you have all these exciting features in one unit, and you don't have to learn anything new about the power cab. The extensive manual is on the TV screen behind me. We're showing this at Gets this weekend. It'll also be on our website some point next week. Lots of information in there. So if you have a question about, can he just do this for me? Can he just do that? Have a look at the manual, but if you have any particular questions, give us a call, send us an email to DCC Concept. We'll be more than happy to let you know all the exciting new features of Aegis. Thank you very much. Uh, we popped out for lunch at KFC because it was quite busy, but 